what's going on YouTube um I actually just recently upgraded to 10.7.2 uh, the beta of it just so I could you know get some iCloud functionality and test it out so I want to show this to you guys because I found it to be rather cool and today I'm going to be showing you PhotoStream. Now I found PhotoStream to be extremely useful and I don't even have an iPod with a camera or an iPhone or anything like that and it's still useful to me just because I like to have photos on my iDevice. So I'm going to be showing you this between uh, an iOS device and a Mac just because I don't have two iOS devices to show it to you. So first of all what you're going to need is you're going to need Mac OS X Lion 10.7.2 uh, that will be released to the general public soon enough it's getting closer to its uh, gold master if you don't know what that means then I'm not going to get into it but it's getting closer to its gold master stages so first of all what you're going to need to do once you have that all set up is you're going to need to set up your iCloud account of course that's a given and then you're going to want to go to system preferences you're going to want to go to iCloud the tab for iCloud's taking a second and then you're going to want to make sure photo stream is checked and then you're also going to want to have that turned on in your iDevice under general or something in system preferences on your iDevice so then after that you're going to want to make sure you have iPhoto um, 9.2 beta 3 it's just says 9.2 right there but you want to make sure that is on 9.2 now the first thing you're going to notice when you have upgraded to iPhoto 9.2 is that there is a photo stream tab right over there now that's going to show you all of your photos that you have in your photo stream now the first thing I noticed about photo stream is that you cannot delete a photo from your photo stream it stays stored in there for the last 30 days I don't like that because if you accidentally upload a photo you don't want on there or something like that then it's not going to be good I mean it doesn't take away from your iCloud space but still it if you have photos up there you don't want uh, to be pushed to all of your iDevices then that's never good to have so now I'm going to actually demonstrate what I or PhotoStream does. Let me move this out of the way. You guys can't see that probably. But first of all, if I go into events or let's say photos just to make this easier, and I take a screenshot of my springboard because my iDevice is set up for PhotoStream, and it'll automatically add it to PhotoStream on my iDevice. Just got to take a second. So it is uploaded and you'll see it popped up right there. So it automatically downloaded to my Mac because it is signed in to iCloud on my Mac and on my iDevice. Now if I were to take per se, I don't know, let's take a screenshot of my Mac, Command Shift 3. Brings that to the desktop. And I were to move that over to Photo Stream, or let's move it over to iPhoto first, have it import. And now if I were to move this over to Photo Stream it'll prompt you to upload it to your iCloud you press OK if you want to and then I have it on my iDevice you guys can't see this just because ScreenFlow is being stupid and I can't use a camera so I had to use QuickTime but I have it in my photo stream and then I can go ahead and download uh, that screenshot that specific screenshot to my iDevice so guys this was just a quick demo of photo stream with iPhoto 9.2 and Mac OS X 10.7 with iCloud support so guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did like this video, could you do me a favor and press subscribe and like this video? That would be awesome. And if you have any questions or anything like that, just leave a comment below and I'll try and answer them. Or you can guys, you guys can follow me on Twitter and ask me questions over at I Could App That. Also, I am now on G+. Um, that will be down in the description. But anyway, guys, now that I have all my links out there, hope you enjoyed this video again. And I got to get going. So see you guys later.